and I'm from the We Are Tear Fun community and it is Christmas Eve! Woo! So we have an extra special episode for you today featuring the wonderful Ellie Lime Bear. Hello! Ellie is a worship leader, singer, songwriter from Brighton. Um, so first things first, how excited are you about Christmas? I am ecstatic. I can't wait. Mm. Tomorrow's the day. It is. Can you believe it? The big day. The big day. The day we've been waiting for. You do a lot of travelling with your job, mm -hmm. don't you? Yes. Um, so you'll kind of be in stadiums performing to thousands one minute. Um, but you're also a youth leader at yes. your local church. Yes. So how do you kind of find that like transition mm. from kind of being with, I guess, the global church? Yeah singing to thousands, mm -hmm. to then, I guess, mentoring um, yes, the youth. Totally. Um, I actually love it because I feel when we're away and when we're traveling, like we see like the global church and it's such a privilege to be able to be part of that and see God move like all over the world and then come back to Youth on Fridays and decide, Paul, squirt cream everywhere yeah. and just like have fun and get really competitive about stupid games. That is so good. Um, so I love it and it's just, it's family isn't it? And just being able to be um, there amongst the young people and catching up with their weeks and seeing how they're doing. So I love it, it's such a privilege. Yeah, and it's important to have like a local community isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I think that's something that I've treasured so much growing up being Christian is like having church there on Sunday do you know sometimes you know who's going to be there sometimes you don't but and then youth on Fridays where you can get plugged in and mess around and look up to people you know the, your youth leaders is a massive game changer when you have people yeah. to look up to um, so I think that's definitely something that I've loved being part of and you get to just be around better people you know like in school and college and stuff, you're like, oh, like this is the end of the world. I've got Jesus sees and I've got this coursework to do, and I've got, and it can feel like so piled up on you. Yeah. And then you go to someone like youth, and say, like, oh, we're all in the same boat. Yeah. Oh, like you're struggling too with like writing a thousand word essay. Like me too. Like how do you even read? <laughs> you know. <laughs> like what does that even mean? What's a Pythagoras theorem, I don't know. <laughs> Do you know? I actually don't know. I actually don't. <laughs> some, some, does anyone know? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you on yeah, that one. We'll work it out. We'll work out. But it's just like great to be in the community where I'll call. We're on the same boat. Yeah. Mm. You're 21, yes. um, which is, I guess, still fairly young yes. to be able to be doing what you're doing, traveling mm -hmm. the world, kind of really sure of. I guess your career path and yes. stuff. Um, and I think for a lot of us growing up, we can kind of feel like there's going to be this one moment mm. where we're like, oh, okay, I know the plan for my life now. Yeah. Or like, oh, okay, this is exactly what God has told me to do and I'm going to do this for the rest yeah. of my life. And we kind of wait for that moment to yeah, the light start, yeah, to to start really living out our purpose. Yeah. But yeah. was there kind of like, how, what was the journey for you in terms mm. of understanding or really feeling like actually no this is I think what God has for me wow. to go out and worship and yes. lead in this kind of way. Wow that's a great question. I think ever since I was a little girl I loved singing. Like there's videos of me just like really chubby actually I was a really chubby baby and was just like dance around and sing like full flat on my face. <laughs> just like going for it like singing Darlene songs um, and I think so there's always been that like passion inside of me to sing and just like make a noise. Um, but then growing up, going to church and like there's so many amazing worship leaders and there's so many amazing musicians and creatives that um, I'd love just to learn from. But I actually never had the desire to be like, I'm going to be a singer, yeah. I'm going to be a worship leader. Like I never th thought about that. And also, because my dad's an amazing musician and worship leader, um, and I felt like, oh, he's done that. Yeah. You know, like, he's bossed it. He's like, people know his songs and he can lead a congregation. And I think I never had that, like, great. So when he's, like, finished, like, now it's my yeah, turn. <laughs> Step up. Here we go. Yeah, it's like, I never. So I think, but I always had that passion and love church and love um, leading worship. But I think it was last, man. Last summer, it was um, we were always a family on the Outcry tour, which is this big American worship 
I don't know how you explain it, but it was great. And there's just um, stadiums for the people. And so my dad was uh, leading worship there. And I remember him saying to me, hey Alice, have you watched Lauren Daigle's set? Have you watched, um, I'm like, who's Lauren Daigle? I have no idea who she is. Like, I don't know, is she old, is she young? Um, and so I remember standing at the back of the stadium and then the lights came on and she started singing. And I remember just feeling so overcome by the Holy Spirit and so um, peaceful, but I was just bawling my eyes out. And like, you know those times with the Holy Spirit, like, okay, like, what are you doing? Like, I, I don't, I'm not really a crier. So I don't actually cry that often. So when I cry, I'm like, oh, what is happening? <laughs> is this good, is this bad, I don't know. Um, but I remember the Lord really specifically saying to me, like, hey, I was like, open your eyes, like, look at people's faces like watch how people are and worship and uh, look at Lauren and and I remember him saying to me like I'm gonna lead you into something that's so similar to this wow. but you're not gonna write Lauren's songs you're not gonna be Lauren and you're these people might not come to your shows or whatever um, but he was just like just take it in and just like just be ready and I remember like oh my god gosh, what does this even mean? I'm like young and I don't know, I never brush my hair and I'm just like, oh, I spilled toothpaste down me. How am I gonna like lead, lead groups of people, you know, and write music, what does that mean? Um, so I think from then, last summer, I was like, okay, game on, what do I do? Yeah. But um, I think the Lord's just been really kind and gentle and just mm -hmm. opening doors here and there. Um, and just me learning how to write music from different people. Mm -hmm. So I think that was quite a significant moment, but I think the Lord will just speak to you, you know, so gently, mm -hmm. also just through conversations with people. It doesn't have to be like a wham, bam, you're gonna write music and blah, blah, blah. Do you know what I mean? It's <laughs> yeah. not, man, you're gonna be a teacher and then like all of a sudden like yeah. the teacher's, you know, outfit yeah. on. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> Teachers outfit. Teachers don't wear outfits. Mm. Anyway, so there's kind of like, I guess it feels like now more than ever, there's a generation mm. of kind of young Christians rising up that really care mm. about our world. They care about people yeah. living in poverty. They care about the effects on our planet because we're seeing it so yeah. much in the news. And they're kind of, I guess, trying to work out what on earth is the link between my faith wow. and justice. Like, how do I pursue these together? Do I have to wait till I'm an adult? Wow. Um, and obviously, I guess we talk about our purpose that God's given us and maybe specific jobs and things that we would want to do. But actually, like, in the most simple form, when we're searching for kind of our purpose, mm. God asks us to care for creation and love our neighbor. Totally, so, yeah. And I guess you don't have to be a certain age no. to love your neighbor or to no. care for creation. What would be your encouragement to any mm. young person who's just trying to like work this all out at the moment? Yeah, man, great question. Man, woman. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, woman. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's a great question. I think um, something that I often ask myself now, because I definitely have days where I'm like, what am I doing? Like, how is little Ellie going to, like, change the world, you know? Um, but I think what I often ask myself is, like, what's in your hands? And, like, what, what am I, what has God given me as a tool? What has God given me um, as a gift? Um, to change the world and or like make a dent somewhere, you know, and I think um, Little things go so far. Yeah, but I think the world is big and that can be daunting sometimes mm -hmm. and with social media and um, We can see so many things being done um, And amazing people starting companies and starting businesses and charities and we're gonna do this which is amazing Yeah, and we need people to do that, but I think we must never um, lose the, the wonder or lose the significance that we have, I think. We need to remember that we have significance in this world and remember that, oh, we can, we can do something as individuals or groups of friends. Like, let's all gather around and make a pasta bake and drop it off at an old people's home or yeah. house. Or, um, yeah, I think we can, do, we can all do something. Yeah. Before we finish, mm -hmm. um, I just want to ask, if you have any exciting things coming up in 2019. Oh my goodness, 2019, can you believe it? Um, 
Things can be busy here, mm -hmm. but it's gonna be great. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna going to be releasing some more music. Hey. Yeah. Scary and exciting. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for people to hear some stuff. Yeah. And then hopefully going on tour at some wow. point. Um, but no, I'm excited. I'm excited for what God's gonna do. Yeah. Um, yeah. And where can we listen to your music? You can listen to my music on Spotify. Love that. Apple Music. Mm -hmm. YouTube. Amazing. What's the other ones? All of the above. Amazon. Right. Amazing. Yeah. Right. Amazing. Amazon. Amazon. Amazing. Amazing. And we'll put all of the links below. Brilliant. So that people can check it out. Yes. And are you going to be at any like festivals and stuff that we might see you at? Oh, I don't know. Ooh. Possibly. To be confirmed. You might know before I know. Exciting. Yeah. Hopefully. Yes. Well, we love going to summer festivals, so hopefully we'll see you. Yes. Oh, I'll be there. Then. I'll be a big church day out hanging out anyway. Great. I love a big church day out. Um, <laughs> so, as it's Christmas tomorrow, I thought we couldn't let you go without doing a quick quiz just to see how much you really love Christmas because you did say that you're ecstatic about Christmas. I, I am. Yeah. So, I just want to know if that's really true. So, we've got the Christmas quiz. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Um, you can play along. We're gonna be popping the questions below here. Um, so get ready. So are you ready for the Christmas quiz? Yeah. Okay, I think we have 10 questions. Um, and so if you get more than five of these right, then you win this tier fund. Yes, keep cup. Keep cup. I love keep cup. I know. Good it's for amazing. the environment. Really good for the environment. No plastic. And if you go to some coffee shops, then you get discount if you bring your own cup. Oh, that's good. But unfortunately, if you get less than five, then um, you can win some Brussels sprouts. Oh, um, like, like here. <laughs> These, like these ones. These Brussels sprouts. Oh, they look so edible. I know. Wow. Yeah, thank you. No problems at all. <laughs> Question number one. Joy to the world is based on which book of the Bible? Is it A, Matthew, B, Corinthians, or C, Psalms? Matthew? <coughs> oh, Unfortunately, that's solid. incorrect. Yeah. It was actually Psalms. Mm. The Psalms. Um, you've got guess the missing word. Um, so it's the Christmas Carol, Deck the Halls. Okay. So get that in your head, yeah? Okay, strike the... Join the chorus, fa la 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 Is the missing word the strike the Is it the drum, the heart, the match, or the ball? Oh, goodness me. Match? Do you really think it's the match? <laughs> strike the match, I'm joining the chorus. <laughs> I'm getting drum, drum. Unfortunately, that is also incorrect. <laughs> It's actually the harp. Strike the harp. The <laughs> harp? How do you strike a drum? The harp. I don't know if you struck the harp either. I think it's all wrong. It's all wrong. <laughs> Let's just keep moving. Maybe the second half is going to be better wow, for you. Yeah, two wrong in a row. Okay. So this one is based on the song Once in Royal David City. Yes. Do you know it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, um, so there's another missing word. Not in that poor, lowly stable with the mm, standing by. What is standing by? Is it the camels, the police, donkeys, or oxen? It's the oxen. Bingo! Well done. <laughs> okay, one right. <laughs> Go out. Next up, we've got based on the song Oh Come All Ye Faithful. Love it, banger. You know that one? Yeah. Okay, um, so come and behold him, born the king of angels. I didn't even have to give you multiple choice. <laughs> Correct. Oh. The multiple choice was going to be, is it Israel, angels, cherubim, or eagles? But you got it. I got it. Hold in one. And I sounded like a boy. I, was, I think I was in the wrong key. I'm not a singer. She's so not a singer. You should. Yeah. <laughs> You should have really taken over there. You could have like um, harmonised. I with could have. Yeah, sorry. Born the king mm. of angels. No, that is even worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really out of tune. Angels. 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 
angels. Ooh. <laughs> so just Mariah popping up. <laughs> Okay, um, next question. <laughs> next question. <laughs> See ya. What causes the baby Jesus to wake up in a way in a manger? Is it the arrival of the three wise men? Is it Mary's embrace? Is it the mooing from the cows in the stable next door? <laughs> or is it the shepherds watching too intently? You know when you can tell someone's looking at you and you're not looking at them? You're like, stop looking at me. <laughs> and you want to just go, yeah. <laughs> so which which is your answer? What is waking up Jesus? Yeah. Bless him. It's just the three wise men, sing. Mary's embrace, Wait the cows, mind. or the shepherds? The little Lord Jesus The cows. Cattle. Well done! Yes, the cows! The cows. mowing! Correct! Okay, you're actually doing really, really well. Um, so you've now got three correct out of five. Well done. What is frankincense and myrrh? They are like perfume. Is that right? Yeah. The official answer that I have oh. written here was actually essential oils. Oh. But I'm going to give you perfume because I think that's more accurate. That is so hip, isn't it? Essential oils. Yeah, it is. How do you spell myrrh? <laughs> M Y R H H? Mm, no, not correct. Oh, Can I get M Y? It's an M Y, isn't it? Yeah. R R H. Yes! It's got it in two. Double R. Yeah. It's quite confusing word, isn't it? Like, mer, 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 mer. Oh, I like the. <laughs> what is a manger? Is it A, a cot, B, a pan? C, a, a feeding trough, or a trowel, trough, 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 or a basket? Well, it's like, it's kind of like a cot and a basket, right? Because he went, to, he, he was in the manger, wasn't he? So it's cot? It's a cot, okay. No, it's Incorrect. not. Incorrect. It's actually a feeding trough. Because remember, oh, they yes. were in a barn. Yeah. Mm. Rewind to the manger. Trough. Mm -hmm. Right, you've already submitted your answer, unfortunately. Yes, it, yeah, of course. Yeah. Pigs and then classic Jesus just exactly. being amazing, yeah. just being a baby in a trough. In a feeding trough. In the carol, We Three Kings. Do you know that one? We Three Kings. That's not that's it. That's not it. No, that's not it. We Three Kings of Orient Oh, uh, yeah, that's yeah. Like the. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, which way is the star of wonder and the star of light leading them? Is it northward leading, star is gleaming? Is it eastward leading, cows are feeding? Or southward leading, night foreseeing? Or westward leading, still proceeding? That one. What? Yes. West? West! <laughs> Correct! Westward leading, still proceeding. Wonderful. I quite like the other rhymes though, I came up with them myself. Yeah, that's that's quite good. Well the, the cows are feeding one was good. Um, so after leaving Bethlehem, to which country did Joseph, Mary and Jesus travel? Was it Spain, Israel, Egypt or Greece? Egypt. No, Israel. No, it's Egypt, isn't it? It's Egypt! It's Egypt. We'll take yes. your first answer. <sighs> Correct. Well done. Um, so I hope you are keeping count if you are watching at home and I hope that you got that one correct. It's a very important question. <laughs> very important. Okay, the this is the change. last question. Okay? Yes. How many syllables does the word Gloria have in the song Angels We Have Heard On High? Do you know the one? Yes, I started just counting on my fingers. Do I have to give you, you an answer? Yeah. Gloria 18. Yes! <laughs> that was such a hard question! <laughs> well done! That was really good. Thank you. I really tried on that so, one. So I'm pretty sure that you got more than five right. Let me just quickly count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got seven out of ten. Well done. So, well done. You have won the Tier Fund Keep Cup. Aren't you lucky? I Christmas am lucky. Has come early for Thank you. you. Yeah, flipping out. It feels like Christmas Day. It's I Christmas know. Eve. I know.
know. <laughs> Mad. Thank you. Um, but yes, thank you very much, and really well done on your Christmas knowledge. Thank you. Um, yeah. We can't wait to see more of you in 2019. Thank you. And have a fantastic Christmas. See ya. See ya.